welcome to Tokyo Girls Reviews, and welcome to our Halloween special! Now I know what you're thinking. Wasn't Halloween last month, technically? Nope. <laughs> Okay, to be perfectly honest, I was a little nervous about reviewing this one. Its fan base is notorious for being almost as bad, if not more so, than Naruto fans. <laughs> However hard that may be to believe, this anime is also mostly a ton of spoilers, and I can't talk about it without spoiling those spoilers. But I've already reviewed Bakano, and its first episode is all spoilers, so screw it. Death Note is a manga that debuted in December of 2003 by Sugumi Oba and Takashi Obata in the magazine Weekly Shonen Jump. It was released in America by Viz Media. An anime made by Studio Madhouse and directed by Tetsuro Araki was released on October 3, 2006 and ran for 37 episodes. It's licensed by Viz Media. Two OVAs called Death Note Rewrite, which are basically the whole series condensed to two movies, are also licensed by Viz Media, as are the three live-action films, which are okay but not as good as the anime, though they do change one thing I'm grateful for, which I'll get into later. A light novel prequel to the manga written by Nishio Isin, as well as the light novel adaption of the third live-action film, are also licensed by Viz. The story mostly revolves around Light Yagami, a teenager living in modern-day Tokyo. Light Yagami has a great life. He's a genius straight-A student on his way to Tokyo University, he has a loving family, and he even occasionally helps his police officer father solve cases. There's just one little problem. He's bored. So when an equally bored Shinigami, Ryuk, drops his instrument of death into the human world, Light's curiosity gets the better of him. Okay, we now have confirmation. The suspect has been found dead inside. I repeat, the suspect is now dead. <laughs> Intrigued, Light takes it upon himself to eliminate all those he deems evil from the world. Eventually, Light, known to the public as Kira, gains the attention of the famous detective simply known as L, who takes it upon himself to find and eliminate him. I will hunt you down wherever you're hiding and I will eliminate you! I am... I am... JUSTICE! Now it's a big game of cat and mouse as Light and L work to find out the other's identity and destroy them. At least into the other half of the series, but I'll get into that later. For supporting characters, wow, there's a lot. The Kira Task Force, led by Light's father, Light's family, the FBI, the SPK, the Mafia, the Yotsuba, not that one group, the other Shinigami, there's just too many to name, so I'll stick with the basics. Misa Amane is a Kira fangirl who... Spoilers. Watari is Elle's assistant, and the only one before the series who knows how to contact Elle. Also spoilers. Nier and Mello are... Okay, screw it. I'll get into what I've been meaning to talk about for a while. About halfway through the series, Elle is taken out of the picture, and these two are his replacements. This is also the point where the series goes downhill. These two are not as good as Elle, and the series isn't as compelling or memorable after the halfway point. That's all I'm saying on the subject. The show has two openings. The world and What's Up People. Personally, I prefer the world, but I will agree that What's Up People is definitely a mind bleep. The ending themes are Illumina and Zetsubo Billy. And just because I'm not particularly fond of Illumina, I'll say I prefer Zetsubo Billy. As for the rest of the music, well, have a listen. <laughs> Big orchestrations and piano, yes, please. The animation was done by Studio Madhouse, who also did Black Lagoon and Trigun. However, this anime's art is where most of the focus is, with a lot of shading and contrasting colors that make it look and feel very dark and gothic, as it should. When they do use lots of animation, however, well, look at what you're watching. All of the epicness. As for the voice acting, I have no problem in either language. But I will say dub for two reasons. One, Misa's voice is less annoying, and two, Elle's voice. 
Alessandro Giuliani plays L far better than his Japanese seiyu, and I'm really hoping Madhouse does an adaption of the prequel novel just so we can get more of L's voice. Now because I don't like the second half, you're probably thinking I'm just going to give this show a rant and say that the hype is just that. Hype. Buy this series. It's worth the hype and its ending is awesome. If you have problems with mixing the morals of good and evil, then you might want to rent this for the first few episodes just to see if you like it. Other than that, I recommend it. As for me, I have to pack. My school lets out early and Ninja can only handle my dog for so long. Let me try something. have to do that, you know. You blew up my parents' house. I fixed it right afterwards. I told Mac not to install the self-destruct button, but no. She has to do it for extra credit. What school does she go to again? I don't know. She says if she tells me that, she'll have to kill me. Okay. Look, what can I do to make it up to you? Can I be in your next review?